everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing this makeup look right here super easy i think it's really fun for summer if you want to dive into like a little bit of color i think this is a very wearable look it's not too crazy and super 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 easy to do it's like two eyeshadow colors and you're done but yeah i'm just gonna cut it really short right here so if you want to see how to get this look please keep on watching okay so already done one eye i've done my eyebrows and the base for this side my eyebrows i use the brow powder duo from what's it called uh style of beverly hills i think it's soft brown or caramel something like that and then for the base i used mac paint pot in painterly i think so for today we're gonna go ahead and do this look obviously i think it's a very wearable orange look i wanted to do something colorful for the summer since we're in a summertime now but i wanted to do something that is very easy and wearable i didn't want to go all out because i know the regular person myself included i don't really go for dramatic colorful looks during the day anymore just because i don't really care to put all that time in the morning because i have to go to work and i'm not going to do that but i'm not against wearing like a bright bold look every now and then or whenever i feel like it i just wanted to wear something i wanted to do something wearable for everyone else because i know everybody doesn't have time to be doing whatever to their eyes so i'm using the jeffrey jeffrey oh my god not jeffrey i'm using the james charles palette um with Morphe, the little collab they did. So we're gonna go ahead and just start off by using this shade right here. And you can use any shade that you have that's similar to it. It doesn't have to be this palette, but that's the kind of look I'm going for. I'm taking my Morphe R42 brush, just a little shader packing brush. And we're gonna go ahead and just pack that onto the lid. Okay, so now that we've packed that on, if I can open this shit. Um, now we're going to go into this shade right here and pop that into the crease. And for that, I am using my Morphe M514 brush. So like a little smaller, skinnier, like little blending brush. Shit. And we're going to go ahead and just pop it right onto the crease. So we kind of blend it out because I don't want to add too much like color or anything like that to take away from the lid color. But I want it to be blended out on the edges. And when you do a uh, blend um, on the top, it kind of takes away a little bit from the like lid color. So we're gonna go ahead and just pack a little bit more on and bring back that vibrancy. Yeah, I know, mom, we love orange, don't we? <laughs> what would have been better with this too is to not um, apply like a base shadow, like a um, skin tone shadow to the, the primer that we use so that it would have stuck more. I should have done that. There we go. That brought back a little bit more. And my little brush fell. So that is pretty much it for the top and we're just going to go ahead and do the inner corner and the brow bone highlight. And we're going to take this shade right here. Kind of like a goldy champagne color. And I'm taking that on a MAC 219 little bullet brush. Right here on the brow bone. Wait. And then on the inside, the inner corner. I was thinking of doing like a bright like yellow inner corner, but I feel like that'd be a little much for a wearable look. So I just went with this part. 
stop screaming. There is that. I'm not even gonna bother. Mommy, stop. I'm not gonna bother putting on mascara right now until I finished my face. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. She's excited. All right, so for primer, as always, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, nothing new there. Next step, I'm using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I'm applying this right under the eyes just to get rid of these nasty dark circles. Oh, you know, right, Mom? We do not like that. Hopefully you don't get that. What a difference that makes, dude. It's crazy. Then for the concealer, I like adding my concealer before my foundation because I feel like it really just gives a blended look. I'm using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And my camera died, so my camera died. And I went ahead and just did my concealer and just did that while... I got my other battery and then I started to do my foundation and apparently it wasn't recording that. So I'm using the All Hours Foundation by YSL, one of my favorites, and I'm just applying that with the Fit Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. It's the dual ended one. Like that, gives you a really nice base to work with. Flawless, smooth, love it. So to set everything, I'm using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder in Rose. I'm just using a little Morphe E48 brush. Alright, now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly finish the eyes. Where'd my palette go? So all I'm gonna do is just do the, I'm just gonna do the lower lash. And I'm just taking that same orange color. Um, I'll put the name of it again, but the same orange color we used on the lid. And taking a little Morphe B42 brush. And going right along the lower lash line. Just like that. I'm gonna add some mascara. Um, I think it's one from Maybelline, but I'm just gonna add that and then we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. Alright, so for bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Sun Stalker Instant Warmth, Warmth Bronzer in Island Ting. And I'm using, as always, my tapered face brush from Sigma, the F25. I'm just gonna bronze up this face. I'm gonna go ahead and look a little tan for the summer. All right, for highlight, I'm using an old palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't think they have it anymore, but I'm gonna be using hmm, which shade? I think I'm going to be mixing these two right here. This is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, Ultimate Glow Kit. Old, I don't know. Some of y'all might have it. I do. I love it. And I haven't used it in a while, so I'm trying to like use... I can't see my rose, but I'm trying to use um, makeup that I don't use anymore or like I forget about more often. Uh, and I'm using the Morphe M501 brush. This is the best brush ever for highlighting. And if you do have this palette, um, the names are Golden Dawn and Hot Sand that I'm mixing together. It's in summer. I'm usually, I am oily, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, give myself a really nice glow. So I'm going to go ahead and put some above the eyebrows of her. Look really glowy. And then I'm going to put some right here on the tip of my nose. And also the bridge. 
And now for the blush, I'm just taking this shade right here. This is little um, metal palette for Makeup Forever that I have. And these are just blushes that I have from like Makeup Geek and MAC. And this one is Peaches by MAC. And I'm using that with a Sephora Pro Angle blush brush. Yes, that goes really good together. But Peaches is one of those shades that just goes good with so many different looks. Now I'm just going to finish with the lips. So for lips, I'm just going to be using Insanity Lip Liner by um, Urban Decay, the 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Butt Naked. I thought about doing like a really bright orange look too, but I don't even know if I have one. I think I do, but I don't want to like be too much. I wanted this to be still very wearable, and I don't know if everybody would be comfortable wearing a bright eye and a bright lip, so. I love this lip color because it's kind of like a peachy pinky um, nude. And I think it goes really well with this look. So I'm gonna just fix up my hair a little bit and be right back and we'll that's pretty much it for the makeup look. So one sec. Alright, so here is the finished look. Very wearable. You can even go with an even more like nude, not too pinky or peachy, just like a really nude, more maybe like taupey or brownie, like a warm nude. I feel like this is kind of cool toned. But I, I like the way it looks so but you could always go for like a more warm tone nude and if that's more your thing so what do y'all think about this look i think this eye look is very wearable and i feel like it's so appropriate for summer if you're wanting to like kind of dive into a little bit of color but are kind of scared to or haven't you know you've never really dealt with color or are not used to wearing color i think this is a definitely easy look and it's not too out there well to me i don't know some people might still think this is still too out there but i feel like it's very you know easy to do one color like two shades and you're pretty much done and it's not too out there to me might be for you but it's not to me so yeah let me know if the like lighting or like the coloring or whatever keeps going like weird it's because i'm filming with natural daylight and it just keeps kind of going like super bright and then a little bit less sun and then super bright again so don't mind that i like filming with natural light just because i feel like it shows the most accurate um color pigmentation like for the makeup so that's just why i do it but yeah let me know what you guys think of this look if you want to see more looks i kind of wanted to do a yellow one too but I don't know. Y'all let me know. Give it a thumbs up or comment down below and let me know if you want to do, want me to do a yellow wearable um, makeup look for summer or any suggestions. I need suggestions. I've just been like a creative rut and really I've been so lazy too. So I apologize for that, but I'm trying to get back into, I feel like I say this all the time, but it is super hard with a baby and then just playing around my life with working all that is crazy but yeah let me know about any suggestions y'all want to see in my next videos or whatnot and i will do that for you i'm going to be doing um, a fashion video next i was going to do a you know new mom must-haves and i'm going to film that i'm just still kind of getting my list together and I want to make sure that that's something y'all want to see. Because if not, then I'm not going to bother. Obviously, I want to do videos that y'all want to see. So, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I will see you next time.